Hi, this is Dr. Embody. Let's take a look at Project 8. Now what we're working, what we'll be doing here is uh, practicing with dictionaries and sets. And the problem that we have is that we have gathered uh, a log that Wikipedia has made available. And what, what they do is every time somebody edits an article on Wikipedia, they log it, who wrote it, and, and you know, and which article they were working on, so on. So what we would like to do is go through this data and see which articles got edited the most and who were the most active people in terms of editing. Uh, so here's what the log file looks like. It has um, like 13 pieces of information, but it's only the first line that we're interested in and we are only interested in uh, who is doing the uh, editing, uh, what article they're editing, and uh, uh, who is doing the editing of it. All right, so, so it's a, in fact, one of the data files we have has about 50,000 lines to it. Uh, and each record is, is 13 lines long. We're only interested in uh, the revision history of that. Now we are uh, given what is on each of these lines. Okay, so you have uh, an article ID and its article name. Uh, those are unique. You can actually refer to either one. We don't care. And then there's a, uh, a username who also matches up with a user identification number. Uh, we act we don't specify which you have to use, uh, but we are going to want. The, uh, uh, the title and we are going to want the, uh, the names. We specify that you have to do a couple of dictionaries. One of them uh, is the, uh, uh, has the, uh, the editor and then the uh, set of articles revised by the editor. So if, if they are uh, edit an article uh, two different times, that gets logged two different times, we only want to record that it got, or, you know, which article it is. So this should be, that's why we use a set. That'll give us a, a unique uh, uh, set of items. And then on the other one, we're going to use the article as the key. And then how many times it, it was edited. And again, a set of who revised the, the, uh, the article. And that way, you know, if, some, if at different times one editor uh, revised the 20 times, they'll only be listed once in the set, but the count of edits will, uh, will add 20 on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit uh, different than what's required just to show you how to use the dictionaries here. And instead of, of a set, here, I'm actually going to build a list. This isn't what you're going to do, but this will show you how this gets done because my list will have uh, uh, multiple occurrences. So if we, uh, if, if for example, one editor uh, edited an article on computers 20 times, uh, we would only list the article. We, we only want the article computer to appear once. In the way I'm going to do it, it will appear 20 times, which of course isn't what you want, but this will uh, hopefully set up, uh, you know, the change will be relatively small. Uh, the other thing that's going on here is that uh, we're going to ask you to, you know, once, you're, once you've built these data structures, these dictionaries, now go back and we can answer some questions like, who are the top editors? Well, that'll be, you know, like say the, the you know, we're looking for the top N. That's a, almost exactly the same functions that you used in the previous project. So copy and paste them in here, modify them, and, uh, you know, you know to, to get the answers here. Uh, and, and you'll be able to reuse your code. You know, so reuse those functions. Very important. Uh, so so that's, the, uh, that's the main thing. And the one other thing that's important for us here is that uh, sometimes when you look at the names, you will see something like IP, which will be the IP address, the internet address, as opposed to somebody's name. Uh, we're going to accept these as names uh, because they're a reasonable alias for actual people. It's not precise, 
but it's good enough for our purposes. So in some cases, you know, we'll, we'll see an actual name like Fred or something. Uh, in other cases, we'll see this IP address. Uh, as far as we're concerned, that's a perfectly good name of somebody. Not perfect, but uh, good enough for us. All right, so let's let's get into this. Now, now we provide two files. Uh, one's called sample1.txt and the other one's called sample2.txt. Uh, sample1 has a mere 1,000 lines in it. Uh, and and so, so let, let's take a look at that. So the first thing I always like to do is make sure that I can actually open the file. All right, so we, we are, we're printing out some lines. You can see the revision line showing up there. Uh, and, and now we can look at it and go, well, uh, let's just print the lines with uh, uh, revisions. So, uh, so what do we have to do? Well, the easiest way to do that is make a uh, list out of the line, same old stuff, line.strip. Let's strip off the uh, carriage returns and then we'll split it. This is uh, space separated and uh, we get we we have to we'll want it well let, let's see so uh, if uh, line list let's try that out Now what happened here? We, we got an error. It said the list index is out of range and probably that means it's a, uh, uh, a maybe it's a blank line, right? You know, because a blank line right away, as soon as we had a first blank line, uh, you know, the uh, uh, list zero uh, didn't, didn't work. And also there are some lines in here that are, uh, that are, don't have all the information on. So uh, let's just only look at the ones that are long enough to in fact have author data on them. So uh, if, if it's too short, uh, let's just skip it. Now when we run it, we see all these uh, revision pieces uh, and, and I, you know, as you can see, I, I printed off six of them. All right, so now we're rolling here a little bit. Uh, we, we can go back and, and look at our specifications, and we see that uh, in a line, the, uh, we, we're going to look at uh, authors here. And so, uh, uh, so there's zero, one, two, three, uh, item four is the uh, uh, name of the editor. All right, so so we see zero, one, two, three, four. That doesn't make sense. Let's let's try this again. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So we got zero. So we have our ah. Okay, so the, uh, let's try try this again. Okay, so after the revision, so we have, uh, so, so this is really, so revision is item zero, and one, two, three, four, and five. All right, one, two, three, four, five. So let's try that again. So there is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so this guy's got this weird name, Smackbot. But that's a good, you know, what, whatever name they uh, logged on to uh, Wikipedia with uh, is, is good enough for, for us. So we're going to look at the names. So let's take a look at that. Um, so if we have a revision line, then my name is line uh, list. We decided it was index five. So this time when I print, let's actually print the name. We'll check it out. 
Uh, I'll put a colon in there and a line, and let's see how we do here. So we can see we're only getting revision lines, and and here's Dan Keshet, and there's uh, again zero, one, two, three, four, and item five. So it looks like we're getting the name correctly. Now, you know, so now I'm getting the data. Let's build a dictionary. And so what's the dictionary that we're supposed to build? We are supposed to, we're going to have uh, a dictionary whose editor, the name, is the key. And the value is a set, although what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this as a list and let you figure out how to do it as a set. So I want to build a, uh, a, a set of editors. So I'll, I'll make a, uh, I mean a dictionary of editors. So we're going to have a dictionary of editors. And so now every time I have a revision I am going to uh, add to my dictionary. So again, so we look for a pattern. How does the pattern work? So if editor, if name is not a key, so if the name is not in my dictionary, I want to add it in there. Using the index editors, and what do I want to do? Well, I want to create an empty, uh, I'm not not an empty list. Uh, I want to create a list with one item in it, my name. Now, if the name is in there, then I want to append the name onto my list. That's no, this is not what I want to do. Let's try this again. I'm not making a list of names. I need to get articles. So let's fix that up. We need to get article. And uh, when I go back in here, which item is the article? The article is the, uh, remember this was 0, 1, 2, 3. So that's the third item. Let's check. Zero, one, two, three. So that was an article about somebody. So that's the, uh, the article is line list uh, item three. And so we're not adding names on here. We're adding articles. So for each name, which article did they add it? We're going to collect all those up. Of course, I'm only counting 50 of these uh, you know, to, to start with. And when we're all done, let's print them out. So for key value in editors, uh, print the key and the value. Let's see what happens. All right, so there's all my, uh, my 50 of these things. Too many values to unpack. So what did I do? I forgot I did something stupid. I forgot that, yes, it's key values in items. Let's try that again. Remember, uh, if you just do in editors, you're only getting the key. So to get the, both the key and the value, and there we go. So let's see what we got here. So we've got uh, this guy, uh, Nenklin uh, has edited uh, three different articles. Uh, Lee Daniel Crocker has edited one. Let's go back and see how we did here. Uh, let's scroll back and uh, let's see how often. Here's my, um, here's our uh, Lee Daniel Crocker. All right, that's good. Uh, and let's see our other guys. So, and here's here's our Anglican. Shows up three times. 
editing American uh, Samoa, applied ethics, and accessible computing. Right? And, and we see when we go down and look at my uh, the output, uh, we see that uh, they in fact did uh, edit all three of those articles. Notice the problem with the, using the list is that if, we, if you look at this guy who has the name IP right so that person edited uh, anarchism three times and so because I use the list it appears three times when you do this properly uh, you'll use a set and that would only be it should correctly only show it once but that's that's not what I did so let's go back and take a look at um, the, the, you know, sort of this is really the new part of the code. And, and let's take a look at that again. So how did that work? It said, all right, so I, I, I picked up a name and an article. And I said, OK, so if this editor is not in the editors, then put them in. And that's, the, you know, so the key is name. And what will the value be? It will be a list, that's the square brackets, with the, that particular article in it. However, if we find them in the editors, then for that entry with key name, I will append the article on there. And so that's the pattern. Whenever I'm building a dictionary, I'm always going to have a pattern like this. You can reverse it uh, if, if you like. You could say, if name in editors and do this one else do that one and it's just a matter of how you think about it but that's the key once now once I have built this dictionary then I can uh, have a function which goes and grabs the uh, the top and out of it that's very similar to what you used last time there's a lot of code that you can use from um, the previous project because not only are we doing the top 10 or I mean top n but you know so, so we can uh, reuse parts of those functions that you have but we also have a set of commands so you can reuse that so there's a lot of code you can reuse here uh, but the, you know what's new is the uh, the dictionaries and and again I did this using lists you're going to want to do this using sets. So you have you have different notation here. You don't append onto a set. You add onto a set, and and that one is is a straightforward one. Then the other dictionary that you have is a little bit more complicated because your key is the article, and then you have a tuple, two things in it. The first is the count of the edits, and then you have a set, curly brackets there, of the editors who revise the articles. If I uh, actually run this thing, so, so I, I have a, a one further draft. Um, so if I go through that whole file, I find that uh, I have um, a number of our authors. Again, I just printed them out, but you now see that uh, this guy, okay, he's edited uh, uh, three things. Uh, our IP address, right, we, uh, uh, edited the uh, anarchism uh, multiple times, but it only shows up once in the set. And when I looked at articles, how many times? So uh, anarchism, it got edited uh, 58 times. Uh, but I think there's only a dozen editors in here because many of them uh, did it multiple times. So, uh, you know, now of course, this is not very good. You, you know, I, I still haven't done the, uh, uh, the top. So let's take a look at that. Um, I, I think I was print top uh, authors. Is that it? Yep. And let's go print the top three. 
right? And it's I haven't formatted it. And then if I, I look at the articles and how many they were uh, uh, edited, uh, again, yeah, I, I have each article and, and uh, uh, a, you know, I have here what I printed out was the, uh, the number and the, uh, uh, the article and uh, who did it. All right, that should give you enough to get started.